so one of my very earliest memories of negotiating um, racism was when I was walking in grade three and um, we were going on a field trip and we were walking so I've been in this neighborhood for a very long time but we were walking up to Kingsway and we pa walked past the community center that I walked past every single day to get to school and back and there was a group of teenagers out there and um, so then there was racial insults that happened and I, I didn't first realize it was you know to me and our teacher was ahead of the line and we were walking in that two by two formation and um, it was that you know making fun and saying uh, you know the stuff around oh packy go back to where you came from oh a bunch of packies in here um, that kind of thing and I was eight so I, w I questioned how they could possibly know that in my household we spoke Punjabi um, that we maybe ate Punjabi food um, had a different name because that you know that wasn't on my exterior it wasn't something that was on my appearance and um, I spent a lot of time thinking about that and then you know I think at the, by the end of the evening I had concluded that it was my two braids and I had these two long braids like that's it that's what gives gives it away um, and it wasn't because I on TV I saw a blonde girl with blue eyes with two braids I'm like oh it's not the braids um, and then I was in PE later on that it may be in like a week or two later and we had the most fairest human that I've ever encountered with the blonde eyelashes and she was sitting right beside me and I looked down at my legs and her legs and I'm like oh my goodness it's skin color <laughs> and um, and I didn't want to get rid of my braids you know and I you know and I love um, the color of my skin and uh, so I think um, even despite you know getting all those um, messages that there's something wrong with people of color um, because we are different on based on our skin or on our hair or whatever it is um, I was still very much attached to that idea of uh, very proud and empowered um, that this was a part of who I was and it was a wonderful part of who I was um, but I think it takes a lot of um, parental um, just support for your identity um, for people of color to make sure that their kids have that sense and it's not always there and you know I, and I've also internalized racism and there's things and ways that I've had to um, unpack my own understanding of myself and also my community and also other communities around me um, and you know along the way we all learn um, but I think my learning has always made me think critically about what I needed to do and what I needed uh, to understand um, to make sure that um, my whole self was intact at all times and you know so when you are walking down the street and um, you get called a twisted nigger and it's not a word that I like to repeat but it's a word that was targeted towards me um, on this day I had my hair was um, twisted up top and <laughs> I was like so I looked around to see um, who it was that this person was yelling this at and um, this person was very visibly um, somebody that would be perceived as a skinhead and uh, so I'm looking around and that person was me um, and because the n-word was thrown a few times the twisted part was thrown once and um, then I realized it was me it's like and this was along um, like 1 p.m. 2 p.m. on a very busy road in the lower mainland and um, but you know my first instinct was to find out who it was that was being targeted and go stand beside them and um, to make sure that we were standing together um, and that person also knew that I was there and I was witnessing and experiencing and also um, I, I think it's important that we speak out when we can and sometimes it isn't um, easy or it's safe um, but when it is I think it's very important um, and it doesn't give us a medal right the, those moments where someone is um, being targeted and uh, whether it's a verbal assault or whatever way um, it is important that as a 
as humanity that we stick together and we support each other and it's not something that gives me a pat on the back and didn't do anything miraculous it was something that um, should be just something that we do.